speaking of my career, we recently crowned our first ever NBA 2K20 legend. Who was it? Was it Chalk DF, Poor Boy Sin, Hank the Tank, or Red City Boy? Man, these guys are grinding. Like, mad props and respect to them. <laughs> mad props. I don't think I'm gonna become a legend. I don't think so either. But we're taking names on the Pro-Am courts. So bring it on, community. The 2K Sports Pregame Show. This competition seems to only grow in popularity. In fact, some people think the three-point contest has surpassed the slam dunk contest in terms of interest level, a testament to how far this event has come. And at this point, Shaq, there are so many great shooters in this league, it's hard to leave certain guys out of this event. Yeah, a few of the selections may have been close calls, but we all know who the favorites are. Well, you know what? There are a few guys here that are in the top tier, so it should be another showdown for the ages. And now time for tip-off. Let's send it to Kevin Harlan with the call. Welcome to All-Star Action, everyone. Kevin Harlan, happy to be here with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. Next up is the three-point contest where tonight one NBA sharpshooter will add his name to a trophy that contains a who's who of the best long-range bombers in league history. And as with all the All-Star festivities, the three-point contest is about having fun, a good time. But still, that doesn't mean the competitive juices won't be flowing. And make no mistake there, guys. These guys are in it to win it. There's a lot of pride on the line when you're up against your peers in an event like this. And so we'll see Stephen Curry. Five racks with the last rack composed of all money balls. Those are worth two points instead of just one. All in all, a max possible score of 34. And 60 seconds to take all 25 shots. Not a ton of time. As soon as one shot is out of your hands, you have to be ready to get off the next. A hot start is pretty essential, isn't it? I mean, it seems like we rarely see guys recover from a bad first rack or two. Yeah, I, I, I think you hit it right on the head because oftentimes you're putting more and more pressure on yourself to perform and it is hard to shoot with confidence when you do that. Gets the money ball. That gives him 12. Down to the money ramp. Make that 14. Now up to 18. He tallies 18 points. Guys, hard to find any fault with that display. And he really had it going. That's what you call going out on a high note. And so we'll see James Harden. Fellas, 25 shots in 60 seconds, that's a lot. One of the hard things, I'm sure, is staying focused all the way through that 25th shot. It absolutely is. And with the end in sight, players can suffer a letdown and not close out the round as strong as they should. Drains the money ball. Now with six. Oh, Harden starting to feel it. Eight points. A three-point rack for him right there. Now nine points. Ten points on the board. Gets the money ball. Nice finish. Well done. He finds himself at 16 points at the end of the round. Well, a very respectable performance from him there, guys. And he managed to hit four money balls. Not terrible, but, but could have been better. Here we go with Damian Lillard. And I know he's going out there with the mindset of just relax, have fun, and see what happens. Yeah, and I think that's a good way to approach it. Uh, the shootout is all about fun. And for the players, for the fans, no reason to put undue pressure on yourself. That's seven. Eight points. Chalk it up, his fourth in a row. Decent start here. That's four misses in a row. Off the mark with five in a row now. Oh, come on. Drains the money ball. He's 
got 12. Good for 13. Money ball, no good. Make that 14. Up to 15 now. And he's got 15 points when the round ends. I'd say he handled that round pretty well, guys. Yeah, he didn't waste any time getting things started. He rifled through that first rack perfectly. Didn't miss one ball. And so we'll see Paul George. If he can hit the 15-point mark, he'll stay alive. The door's open. A good round would do it. Gets the money ball. Now with four. He's got five. Now with six. And he's off to a decent start. That's four misses in a row. He needs eight points more to stay in contention. Only managed to sink one there. Seven more points to stay in contention. Five more points to stay in it. Twelve for him. His total for the round comes to twelve. There was just something off about him in that round. And any time it looked like he was starting to get into a good rhythm, he would just as quickly fall out of it. So it'll be Brad Beal here. And Brad Beal, renowned in high school for his outside shooting. He was just solid. Not, not really great at Florida, but you figured he'd come around. He needs at least 15 here to stay alive. Can't afford a slow start with a score like that to be. Miss a few early on, and it'll be tough to catch up. Two points. He comes away with four points on that rap. The young fella Brad Beal taking charge here. Six. Cannot afford a lapse in concentration now. He's got to finish strong. That's seven. Now eight points. Seven points more to stay alive. He's got nine. Five points more to stay in it. Oh, and uh, he will not advance to the next round, Clark. Going to just finish out the string here. Yeah, just not enough. In the end, it's a 12-point round for him. Well, I, I didn't expect that score to be as low as it was. What about you guys? Yeah, I mean, it wasn't until he'd missed his first eight shots that he finally canned one. Just a disastrous start. And here we go with C.J. McCollum as the final shooter in this round. He knows just what he has to do here. And 15 points. That's all he needs to qualify. He's got to focus here. He's got to be good. Not great, but just good enough. Now with four. Five points now. Can't get the money ball. Six. He needs eight points more. Drains the money ball. Four more points to stay alive. Not just 13. That shot ties him for third. He's tied for second. He gets his tally up to 16 points. He turned in a pretty good round right there, don't you think? By the time he got to that fourth rack, he was feeling it. He sprayed home the entire rack. That jumper was wet. Curry's got the best score in the qualifying round, guys. I'll bet he's excited for the finals. With the strong group we have moving on to the finals, I'm expecting a very competitive last round. I'm with you on that one. I mean, I'd be surprised if this doesn't go all the way down to the last rack. Here we go with James Harden. He had the lowest score of all the qualifiers, so he goes first. Let's see if he can kick it up a few notches. And knocking down your money balls, such a key in the three-point contest. Nine shots account for the majority of your points, so it might seem arbitrary, but I think it reflects real-life basketball. Some shots carry more pressure than others. Eight points. Up to ten now. Three racks down, two to go. 11 on the board. He's made all four money balls. A 
strong close out there. He's at 14. Hits for 15. He's got 16. He gets his tally up to 16 points. That was a nice piece of shooting we saw from him out there. Yeah, it was adequate, absolutely. I mean, he really stayed with it, hung in there nicely, I thought. Yeah, there were moments when it looked like it might slip away from him, but as you said, he just hung in there. And here we go with C.J. McCollum. A chance to tie it with 16 or move ahead. That's two. Money ball, no good. Three down. Gets the money ball. That's seven. Seven more points and he'll tie it. Two racks to go. Five more points to tie it up. Twelve for him. Last rack, he just needs one more money ball. Up to 15 now. Tremendous. 16 points is his score for the round. I'd say a solid showing from him. Yeah, he put that third rack to bed in a hurry. Just about the fastest six points you'll see in the shootout. And so here's Curry now. We've reached the climax. He's got one last shot to go home with the trophy. And it's 17 to go ahead. Or at least 16 to tie it up. Steph catching fire now. He's in the zone. Now is six. Pretty good start. Seven more points and he'll tie it up. Up to ten now. Eleven points. Six more points for the win. Good for 13. One more to tie. Got it, and that's all she wrote. That yep. does it, folks. Yep, that's the winning score. Yeah, still with a few shots left just for fun. He's at 19. He racks up 20 points in the round. Now that's how you do it. Outstanding focus throughout the round. Right from the opening rack, he was on the roll. Got himself immediately into a groove. And now with everything said and done, one man has staked his claim to the trophy. This year's three-point contest champion, Stephen Curry. He was one chill customer out there. He really kept his wits about him the entire way through the contest. Yeah, and, and Clark, that's the key. I mean, he never got too high or too low. And the drama. The excitement. This year's three-point contest had it all. It was our pleasure to bring it to you. Every shot, terrific to watch. Now, this is Kevin Harlan saying so long for Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. Thank you and good night.